Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, November 8th. I want to walk through a punch list of the items between end of market yesterday and this morning that I have fixed and addressed with Quant Crawler, a new landing page we've built out. But the most important part is the punch list of the critical items that we fixed um, user feedback the last couple of days. So uh, made some really big improvements this morning. I'm excited to show you what they are. So let's get into it real quick. Okay, first one we did was uh, bug fixes based on user feedback. That's what we're going over. But the first thing was yesterday, right after market close, I built a landing page. So new users don't immediately hit a login screen without knowing what quant crawler is or why they should even sign up for it. So landing page was built. And then this morning, I realized I didn't put a member login. So no matter what, when you would come to this screen, you didn't see a login page, you either had to click start free trial or learn more. And you're like, what the hell, I'm already a member, how do I get to where I'm going? So you just click this right here, it takes you to your login. If you are not a member, you can click start free trial, it again will take you to a login and then you'll get the stripe sign up with the free trial. Um, as a quick overview, you can click learn more, it will pop you down here. It also has a video that I've done when we launch Quant Crawler. This will be updated as we make new videos, which will probably be next week with a more in depth overview each time. And then you can see down here how it works. And then right here, this is the coolest part. We officially this morning hit over 500 people signed up, at least like with trials via Stripe. So in like 72 hours is insane to me. I'm insanely grateful uh, to everybody here watching this. So um, you can then click here again. It's free for 30 days, then $9.99 a month. So this again will take you to the login page. You sign up, Stripe, all that fun stuff. So this did not exist yesterday. It exists now. And then this did not exist yesterday, but it does now. So you can get logged in if you're already signed up. The next thing we fixed was structure-based versus fixed rate risk reward choice. So we added option one and two selection at start of analysis option one is a fixed dollar risk with math based calculations option two is chart structure with stops at support and resistance now keep this in mind the support and resistance is what charts you upload what it can see if you have a support and resistance that you're monitoring on a four hour time frame from three days ago and you don't upload that on your chart into quant crawler it is going to be wrong it's only going off of the data that it can see based on the charts so keep that in mind so if you say it's incorrect, make sure that you guys are looking at the same charts when you're calculating it, because of course it will be incorrect if you're not giving it the data that you're actually calculating the support and resistance off of. Then accommodates both trading styles include instead of forcing everyone into fixed ratios. So that now looks like this. When you upload your charts, how would you like to set your stop loss and profit target? You can do fixed dollar risk, calculate stops targets based on specific dollar amount you want to risk, example being $100 to potentially make 200 to 300. Chart structure sets the stops targets based on natural support and resistance levels, example stop below swing low, target at key resistance, reply with one or two to choose your method. So I'm just going to say one for a fixed dollar risk and say $200 just for the example. That way people aren't getting stuck having to enter in a risk to reward if that's not your trading style or how you operate. So you can now bypass this and just do option two chart structure and it'll just give you a chart analysis. Now the next one we fix is probably the most important one is the entry point validation. This has been feedback I've got from four, five, six different people. Um, it basically is just telling you to enter at the current price. It's not giving you any pullback or wait for this. Like to me, sometimes I feel like it does, but maybe I'm just overlooking it. So we separated current price from entry recommendation, now provides clear action, enter now, wait for pullback, wait for breakout, includes a confidence percentage and explains the reason for entry timing. So once it's done its analysis and you've given it the top part, it then is contract ticker, the current price, 25226, entry recommendation, enter now at current price, confidence level 75%, reasoning the price is showing upward momentum on multiple time frames, indicating a potential continuation of the trend. This is now set up to where if it recommends waiting for a pullback, it will tell you that right down here between the enter now at current price and the confidence level. And that's where the user, the human interaction part comes into it. You have to make that decision for you. Are you comfortable with a 75% entry price, price point? And if so, take it. If not, it'll say recommended pullback like 25200, something like that. The next piece that I fixed is I went through for tick value calculation accuracy. Fix the confusion between tick size, 0.25, and tick value. We added explicit warnings to prevent 10,000 plus miscalculations based off the feedback we got this morning. Someone was given like a $10,000 stop loss for like a $30,000 gain 
with only one entry. Uh, yeah, don't want that. NQ now correctly shown $5 per tick, not $0.25. Cents. That's the reason. I don't know how that got messed up. I don't know how that got missed. Um, but somewhere along the way when I was adjusting stuff, I either got off a line or something. I don't know. But um, dress now, so that's fixed. The next one we did was price reading accuracy. We added instructions to carefully examine price axis. AI now states exact prices, not approximations. Double checks price scale before reporting. So on this one right here, we were having an issue. We immediately put the current price. There is, I know that this is something like we want to trust it 100%, but this is something that you're going to have to verify while you're there to make sure it's right. You want to be making the right entries, the right everything. 2526.75. And then you can look here on um, chart and you can see clearly that it is accurate. I was pulling these off of uh, top step this morning and right here it ended 25226. Of course, you do have to be mindful as well. These while you're uploading these are taking 30 to 45 seconds to process the price is changing. So of course, it's not going to be exact to the penny of the screenshot because when the market is live and open, it's going to be moving. So keep that in mind. But you shouldn't be seeing major discrepancies on this and what it is giving you right here in this column. Now on to page two, we simplified the entry output, remove contradictory statements. It was saying at one point safe to enter now and wait for a breakout. Some people were reporting it was telling them to do both. So it's like, do they enter now or do they wait for the pullback or the breakout? What do they do? It now gives one clear directive per analysis, no more confusion about what to do. So that is right here, enter now at current price. People were saying also they were getting this and then it was saying wait for pullback or wait for breakout right down here below it. And that obviously you're like, which one do I go with here? So this is now set to give just one direction, whether it's this or if it's clear to wait for a pullback. It's assuming here based on this trend and everything that it's seen that it's safe to enter now because it is on an upward trend. So get in now before price continues up. That's why it says enter now. And the last update we did was beginner friendly language. We changed confusing yes, no's like type and to clear option one or two removed acronyms and verbiage that could be misleading or confusing. We explained what RR or risk to reward means with dollar examples and uh, made selection process obvious through. So that's just kind of a quality of life, a beginner friendly adjustment to where if you are brand new, you are following um, and doing analysis with quant crawler, there is no more confusing. Uh, if any, it should be very simple, plain language. So for the advanced trader, that may be too basic, but for the beginner, it's perfect. The last piece I want to remind you guys on is down here at the very bottom, there is technical problems. Send me an email. If you click that, it will immediately pop up to your default mail server um, and it to Aaron at quantcrawler.com, which will come directly to me. That's probably the best and fastest way for me to get feedback of updates, of problems, issues, everything, because we are approaching 4,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is um, three times where we were five days ago. So the comments and the interactions uh, can bury your comments, and uh, I definitely don't want that. I want to make sure I address every single thing that's going on. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please send them through there. I check that email all the time. It's now my go-to email for everything Quant Crawler. So I uh, appreciate everybody's support. Go sign up for the 30-day trial. The other piece that I was going to mention is the GPT and the Quant Crawler website are always going to have a 48-hour lag, and here's the reason why. I'm going to update the website first. In the event that the website breaks, I don't want to update the website and the GPT at the same time and then have both options down to where you have no option and both items are broken. So I need to issue the website version first, figure out if there's any problems in a 48 hour window. And then if that is all good and everything is fine and dandy, we will then move over to updating the GPT with the update from the website. So I'm not neglecting it or letting it trail on purpose. I'm doing it for a reason. So at any point, if you're using quant crawler for analysis, you should be able to get what you need without both of them being broken if one of them gets messed up. As always, thank you guys for your support. Share this video with anybody who you think may benefit from it. We're trying to grow, and uh, I appreciate you guys being along uh, on this journey with me. Have a great weekend.